At the midpoint of this season, Renault's Jolyon Palmer is under pressure to deliver his first points of the year. The Brit, son of former driver Jonathan Palmer, has failed to capitalize on his rookie season, one in which he had a slow start but managed to save face with a point in Malaysia, though it was still six points shy of his then teammate Kevin Magnussen's total. 2017, by all accounts, was meant to be a year of consolidation. It was a rookie year and there were some mistakes, especially early on. But my second half of the year was really, really strong against Kevin Magnussen as well, who's been on the podium. He's got a good proven track record. So I'm pleased with that year. And now I've got a new teammate and a new challenge. And yeah, I'm looking forward to, to trying to do the same thing this year. He took that boosted confidence into the new season, leaving behind him the RS16 that was little more than a modified 2015 chassis. Jumping into the RS17, Renault's first true works effort between its British Enstone race team and Viry Châtillon power unit base in France following its return to the grid. But he'd be up against an even tougher adversary, new teammate Nico Hülkenberg, who was highly rated, but yet to step on an F1 podium in 115 starts, dating back to his debut at the 2010 Bahrain Grand Prix. He's got a lot of experience, um, he's had a pole position, he's a proven quick driver over many years, so um, I hope to compare well to him. But up to and including the British GP, Palmer has been out-qualified 10-0, just once finishing ahead of Hülkenberg in the races so far at Austria's Red Bull Ring. He's also been outpointed 26-0. He's endured a lot of bad luck, though, from Melbourne to Silverstone. In Australia, he had brake issues in the race. In China, he started from the pit lane to switch from wets to slicks. Passes Romain Grosjean crashed into him in Russia, while he had an ignition issue in Azerbaijan. And at his home race at Silverstone, he didn't even start. His brakes going long after a hydraulic leak, forcing him to pull off during the formation lap. It's made for a vicious cycle, especially with Hülkenberg placing the team where it shouldn't be. Fifth on the grid at Silverstone, the team's best slot, since Robert Kubica started from third in Japan 2010. So it's no surprise that rumors about his immediate replacement grew like wildfire, with Kubica, Reserve driver Sergei Sirotkin, or even Toro Rosso's Carlos Sainz, said to be stepping into the car in Hungary. The growing media speculation prompted Renault Sport Racing managing director Cyril Abitable to shut down the rumors in England and tell his driver it wasn't going to happen and that the team was behind him. But the targets have been there from the start. The drivers obviously need to make a contribution. They need to be able to score points at every race. In F1, it's deliver or move on. And Palmer must rack up points to stay into 2018, especially with Renault becoming an ever more attractive seat. And former race winner Robert Kubica fully motivated for a comeback, the recovering pole's final obstacle, a taste of the RS17 at the post-Hungary test. Palmer will be desperate to do well in Budapest, where he threw away a point last year with a lurid spin. He'll also have a new floor for added performance. It's crunch time for the Brit. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.